Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. Welcome to your timeless love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the person that you have most on your mind, Aquarius, the person that you're hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to, are in current connection, or will be connecting with in the near future. This is a collective reading for my beautiful air sign. Please take only the messages that align with you. Leave behind what simply does not flow. Feel free to check your moon, rising, and the signs for additional messages or get a complete overview. All right, Aquarius, you guys know the drill. I'm not going to uh, bore you with that. Take this reading as it resonates. Switch the sides around as needed. Cross washers are welcome. I hope all of you are doing well. Aquarius, we're going to be taking a look at your past, present, future energy, your person's past, present, future energy, and the shared energy, past, present, future between you. If you have not yet come into connection with anyone and you are single looking to mingle, take this as, you know, your past energy being yours, your the future person's past energy being theirs, and where you're currently at, and where the both of you hope to be or are where you both are headed. All right, so let's get started. All right, so in the past, Aquarius, you are coming in with the Five of Cups. So this is telling me that you were feeling very sad. Uh, there, This is a sense of loss, of grief, of, you know, kind of crying over what has been stripped away. But this is also not seeing what still can remains, what can be built, what can be strengthened. This is overall a sense of, of grief and mourning. And your person, they're coming through with a beautiful magician, the all having all the tools, the ability to manifest their dreams, their desires into reality. The shared energy between you was the nine of swords. So this is a lot of uh, sleepless nights. Some of you may not, you both may not have been sleeping very well. This is anxiety. So this is worry. This can be depression for some, but this is definitely this overthinking, overanalyzing. Uh, very worried energy, having, you know, someone on your mind, uh, having something on your mind so intensely that it prevents you from rest. All right, so your current energy. Aquarius, you are coming through with the Page of Swords. Your person is coming through with justice. Could be Libra energy for some of you that you're connecting with. The energy between you is the Ten of Pentacles. So the Page of Swords is a very interesting energy. Uh, this is an energy of wanting to have truthful, honest, blunt, and transparent communication. But this is also a card of wa watching and seeing. Some people may consider it spying, Aquarius. Uh, you may be you know, checking out this person's social media. You may be watching this person from a distance, trying to get a feel for them, but this is a truth seeker, seeking out the truth. Um, wanting to communicate and with transparency, transparency and honesty, transparency and honesty. And your person's coming through with justice, weighing the pros and cons of the situation, trying to find equal balance, trying to do the best thing for everyone involved. But I can see in this situation, currently there's something that has not yet been revealed to your person. And Aquarius, this could this side could very well be you. This could be them. Take it as it resonates for you, or it could be back and forth. But if something has not been revealed to either you or your person, Aquarius, in order to be able to make this decision. I see a lot of indications within this energy, within this card, that the divine energy is at play here. There's a sense of wanting to do the right thing for happiness, for joy for a balance. The energy between you is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the energy of building your legacy, building your life, building the your happily ever after, shall we speak. And there is a potential between you to really achieve and build what the both of you desire. Mm -hmm. Both of you may be looking at the potential in this relationship or in with each other of having that long-term steady partnerships. For some of you, this could indicate family, uh, starting a family, getting married, or having a family, 
and, and, and growing old together and how you would leave the world. This is kind of looking at, this is the energy that looks at that. Will it, will this connection be enough to stand, withstand the test of time? Now, some of you, I will say, uh, I am getting this, this distinctive message that um, there has been a lot of hurt and grief um, that has happened here. Someone may have been uh, manipulative and kind of cruel in nature, maybe not considering the other person's feelings very much. Led to a lot of anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, conflict, internally and externally. And you may be seeking the truth to try to understand what happened. There could be a separation or divorce happening within a family for some of you, of course, not all of you. All right, future energy. I love this. Aquarius, you're coming through with the Knight of Pentacles. This slow and steady night, right? They're the ones that crosses the finish line. So I think and feel, Aquarius, that you are hesitant, um, but you are moving forward. You're approaching this person or this situation or this relationship with caution. But I'm here feeling enthusiastic, caution. You're not wanting to rush anything. You're not gonna make any bold moves or grand gestures, but you're coming in with stability and um, durability. All right, so Eight of Cups, your person is leaving something behind. They're walking away from a way of thinking, acting, being in search of that fulfillment within themselves. Shared energy between you, beautiful, is the King of Pentacles. So long-term stability, long-term happiness. There can be a slight uh, communication issue with the King of Pentacles. They tend to, they're the givers, they're the sharers, they'll help the friends in need, but they're, they're wise in their abilities. They don't, um, they're not gonna invest, right? Uh, in anything that's not going to be rewarding or fulfilling. But they also kind of hold their feelings, how they truly feel, really close to their chest, as they don't want to give anyone an advantage. This is somebody who doesn't like to be beholden to anybody else. So I feel like in a relationship that both of you may be holding back a little bit here, uh, your feelings, playing it close to the chest, not giving the other person a, a advantage over you. And that may be something that you will need to work on as you move forward. But I do see the, the ability for a long-term partnership uh, arriving, some stability. For some of you, this could be really just stability coming into your lives. And for those of you that are going through a difficult situation, especially it may be a family that is facing divorce and separation, I see you moving on from this Aquarius. Uh, it will not be a quick, you know, quick, quick fix, but it will be slow. It will be steady and you will make uh, progress where you need to and, and will end up where you need to go. You will be more cautious in your approaches, but you will definitely find yourself in a better place. You have stability and coming into your life. Some of you, this also means more financial stability as well. And I see this is a situation where it had been fulfilling, but the time had passed, so now it's, a, it's the energy of moving on. All right, so the overall energy today, Aquarius, is the two of wands. This is about choice. This is about decision. This is about looking at two paths forward. One is well-known and well-traveled. You have traveled that road many of times. And the other one is less lit, less known. There is an element of the unknown, which can be scary and uncomfortable. But it's looking at you know choosing which path to take. Both of you are both paths are going to lead you to where you want to go. There is no right, there is no wrong. But it's looking at you know will I go down the same path I've always gone down and experience the same trials and tribulations that I've experienced before to get to you know to get to where I want to be, or am I going to take the less traveled road path? less less that I know and experience new things that may lead to a more fulfilling and rewarding journey. All right, the hidden energy here is the Knight of Swords, yeah. So there is this energy of having something that you need to say, something that you need to free from your chest. But this is also about taking quick action. This is where you need to make a quick decision, Aquarius. 
All right, bottom of the deck is the hanged man. So I feel like the situation has been kind of been hanging in the air for a little while. This is getting a new perspective, seeing things through a new set of eyes. This is also standing firm and uh, making a decision from a new set of for through from a new mindset, excuse me. So things may be a little stuck or feeling stagnant. There's a lot of, that's not being spoken. There's a lot that's not being known. But I do see a beautiful connection between you, Aquarius, and another person where you really do connect in a way where words do not need to be spoken. Just looking uh, at one, in, one another is um, a way that you communicate. This is having somebody who truly supports you and uplifts you, that understands you, loves, and guides you. This is your rock. This is your strength. They do not exploit your weaknesses. They strengthen them and vice versa you for them. This is a true connection. And I see fast-paced communication regarding this connection, and I see you moving forward. This is Ken. There is a, a brutal ending. But with that comes transformation and a beautiful healing. Connecting in with your higher self. And there is a call for forgiveness to free balance your life. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and pull some romance angels and see what other additional information we can find out today about you when it comes to love and romance. Let's take a look at Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. When it comes to love and romance, what does my beautiful Aquariuses need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? That's message of highest guidance for my beautiful Aquariuses. What do we have for Aquarius, please, when it comes to love and romance? Thank you. Wow. Aquarius, one of the first cards that popped through is yes, this is your soulmate. And I just talked about that beautiful connection. So if you are wondering if the person that you're going to meet, have met, or in current connection with have already met, is your person, if that's your soulmate, come in here with that question and in your mind, the answer is yes. All right, so we have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And we have playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So Aquarius, with these two cards coming through, they're a very loud uh, message about staying present in the moment. Relax, have fun. Don't be focused on what hurts, what things happened in your past. Even if you're in connection or this is an old connection, resurfacing, don't focus on what went wrong. Uh, in the past and all the problems from the past allow them to lie. Even if you're starting something new with someone new and you, we have that, that tendency to kind of rear view, look back at, you know, the mistakes from the past, the experiences that we, you know, because we're, we're afraid of them happening again. So we're looking for any sign that that very well could be true. And what spirit and the universe is coming to say is don't look in the rear of your mirror, tear it off, throw it away if you have to. Keep your focus forward, but not too far forward. That's the other part of this message. Don't get caught up in what could be, what should be. Where is this going? Will we get married? Will we have children? Is this the one? They don't want you jumping ahead. What they want from you is to stay present in this moment. Experience you, experience this person, experience this situation. Feel it. Feel every moment. Be alive with every moment. Be present. You will not regret it. Where you're going, where this is going will be where it needs to go. For now, they just want you to enjoy, relax, have fun. Beautiful message. All right, do you have any additional more messages coming through for Aquarius when it comes to love and romance? Okay, that one came out with some forcefulness. And it's still on the floor. All right, so that's gonna be our last message. At the bottom of the deck, we do have trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So what they want you to do is uh, not to second guess, not to try to ooh, oversee or force the situation to happen. They want you to allow things to flow naturally. 
All right. So some of you, you're in separation from your partner. This is confirmation that you have either not met your person yet for some of you or that your person and you are currently not, maybe not even communicating, but that should be turning around. All right. So let's get some messages from your person at this time, Aquarius, and see what they have to say and what you need to know. All right. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors of the light. Let's take a look at Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and their person. The person they have most on their mind, the person they're hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to, are in current connection, or will be connecting with in the near future. What does Aquarius need to know for their highest vibration and highest good? All right, Aquarius, these cards can come through from current person, past person, future person, uh, acquaintance, friends, uh, it can be a brother, a brother kind of all over the place energy. All right. And so I feel like I'm getting X energy coming in first and foremost. We've got, you are the best thing in my life. This can apply to a current person. They may be saying you are the best thing in my life, but I feel like this is more X energy for the majority of you coming in and saying, you know, you came closer to anyone to breaking down my walls. You were the best thing that was in my life. You made me so happy. And I am grateful for this spiritual lesson. Okay, so Aquarius, did you school somebody? <laughs> I feel like this is somebody uh, next that holds you in high regards, high esteem Aquarius. This is not somebody who is angry or bitter. This is somebody who's appreciative. All right, so we definitely got you speak to me through music. That can apply to any group. I wonder if you are happy without me. Mm. All right, so. Okay. I wonder if you're happy without me. So that's coming away for separation. So you could, your partner could be in a bit of a separation. This could be physically or emotional separation this time. And they are wondering if you're happier without their energy, like, or if you would be happy without them. For those of you, this can be an X too. I hope that one day you can forgive me. And I'm definitely feeling separation energy there. Uh, now we got one, I hide behind material things. So this can be somebody who appears to be skin deep, who appears to be shallow. They may even try to tend to hide their feelings. Uh, and not express them. They may even try to make you think they have men, but I definitely don't feel that's the case. I feel like they're feeling their emotions very deeply, but they're not wanting anyone to know, to know it. All right, so because we pulled You Speak To Me Through Music, I am going to pull some cards from the Spiritual Jude Box. All right, Aquarius, so how this works is, these can be messages from you, your person, how they feel about you. This can be songs that have some meaning to you. All songs that are contained here were intuitively downloaded and guided. So I have no actual control. Some are old, some are new, some are ancient. Some are country, some are pop, some are all over the place. Rock. Um, just kind of go with the flow. And the most important thing to tell you, Aquarius, is this. I am told what, how, what, how many cards to pull. Your job is to tune in as I show them to you and name them and really go with what you're pulled to. You'll have an intuitive knowing. You'll have a goosebumps, a feeling, but you'll know which song is meant for you if there will only be one per person. All right, so first one out we have Picture, Kid Rock, Cheryl Crow. We have Find a Way to My Heart, Phil Collins. I have All I Have to Do is Dream, Everly Brothers. 
when I look into your eyes, fire has. Hold on, Wilson Phillips. Let her go, passenger. Hanging by a moment, lighthouse. And you're gone by Diamond Rio. All right guys, that is all the songs that are being guided to pull. At this time, I'm gonna take a look at the zodiac sign showing up most dominantly in your energy at this time please take it as a super confirmation if your person's zodiac sign pops through if your person's sign does not pop through but this reading really spoke to you it really resonated with you it is still your reading it just means that your person's sign wasn't as dominant as the other signs for the aquarius collective all right guys let's go ahead and get this started what what are the zodiac signs most dominant in Aquarius's energy at this time? Right off the bat, we have Cancer. We have Capricorn. We have Pisces. And we have Scorpio. All right, so we have all water signs present, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, with Leo at the bottom of the deck. All right, my beautiful Aquariuses, I hope that gave you insight into your situation. If you have not yet done so, please smash that like button, get this reading out to all the Aquariuses that may need to receive this message. Subscribe, we would love to have you part of the Cassirian Soul family. Drop a comment down below, let me know how this reading resonated with you or simply to say hello. If you were intuitively drawn to one of the songs in the jukebox, please let me know which one and how it related. There was a special message within the lyrics that made sense to you, so on and so forth. Would love to hear from you. All right, guys, without any further ado, I'm gonna get out of here. I hope to see you in your next reading. Wishing you nothing but light, love, and prosperity on your journey forward. Namaste, bye for now.